Hi there, welcome back to Really Me TV. This is a brand new episode of all the beauty newness, exciting new products in beauty this week. And this will be the first episode for March, which means we have entered spring. Hallelujah. Very excited about spring. Spring is my favorite season of the year, not summer. Can't deal with summer, way too hot. Anyway, let's move on. I'm gonna start off with makeup. I've got some really nice little makeup bits that are very exciting. I've also got a few new skincare launches, some fragrance, and some body care newness. And brands include L'Oreal, Rose Inc, Jimmy Choo, which I'm gonna kick off with, Bioeffect, Beauty Pie, and more, so keep watching. I'm gonna start off with one of probably the most luxurious lip glosses but I'm absolutely in love with it. It's the Jimmy Choo Lip Gloss. Now, before they've had nail varnishes and lipsticks, I love their matte lipsticks. This is a gloss and it's absolutely gorgeous. <laughs> it's really, it's quite weird to hold because the applicator is so much heavier than the tube. So it's almost like, anyway, that's an aside. It's fabulous. Very, very slightly tingly. Nice and gently plumping. This colour is called Rose Blush and I'm absolutely obsessed with it. Got it on now, put a bit more on for you. It's so juicy and gorgeous. It does give a nice plumping look. You can feel like a mintiness very, very gently. It's not like any of those aggressive, like plumping lip glosses that literally burn your lips, but you can just feel a nice increase in circulation in the lips. And it's so, so moisturizing, like a balm, but more luxurious. I mean, I'm literally, I'm literally obsessed. I love this shade so much. There are other shades, but this is the only one I've got at the moment. I'm gonna do a blog post on this because I love it so much and it just needs to live on the blog. They're 48 pounds, which is super expensive, but they just look so gorgeous. And it's Jimmy Choo and it looks good. It performs well, it lasts really well actually, because I've swatched this uh, rose blush shade for the blog and you can tell, you know when you swatch something, well I don't know if you do, but when you swatch something you can tell how well it's going to last and how easy it is to remove the swatch. So thumbs up for these, absolutely love, hoping to try more shades, but I will have a blog post and all the info, so make sure you check out the description box for that. Wow, I spent way more time on that gloss than I intended to, but um, it's my favorite. Next new product that I've been trying is the Rose Ink Mascara. I'm gonna be honest, I don't know how new this is. I literally received a mailer with their new micellar cleanser, which I'll show you in a bit. This mascara brushes and the eye duos. I know the eye duos launched a little while ago, so I ch I've been testing out the mascara, which I really like. I've suddenly become even worse at applying my mascara and I think it's because my eyesight is literally deteriorating. So it takes me forever to get a look that I like, but I do actually like this. This is this is like two good coats of the Rose Ink Mascara. I really like the packaging. It's got a quite a nice, precise little curved wand, which makes things quite easy, but I still always get stuff on my lids and I think that's to do with the fact that I've got like quite hooded lids and I'm quite cack handed but this is really really nice again I'm going to do a blog post with before and after photos so you can see the difference like the before because my lashes are fine so they're quite invisible when I don't have mascara on so you can see the difference between like one coat and two coats and one eye and the other eye so I do I've, I've taken quite a few different photos so I'm going to link that blog post for you in the description box. But yeah, I'm liking this so far. In the blog post, I'll let you know my thoughts on how it wears, but so far, so good. And it feels quite light. It's fairly flexible. It's dried nicely and it gives a nice curled look. Rose Ink have actually also launched eyelash curlers, but I'm not brilliant with eyelash curlers, so I haven't tried those yet. But so you know, they have eyelash curlers. Anyway, moving on. Sticking with mascara, L'Oreal have launched their new telescopic mascara. It's called Telescopic Lift. I do want to try and review this for the blog, but I haven't managed to yet. Um, so obviously, tele this is their original mascara, Telescopic, which I have to say I've used, but I never used it. I know there's a massive sort of cult fan base for Telescopic. And now Telescopic Lift is the new version. It says, lift your lashes to the next level. I've heard a few people saying they still prefer the original. I'm gonna delve deeper into that. So I think the idea with the telescopic lift is that there's a flat side of the brush. I hope you can see that. And that you can kind of use that to kind of lift the lashes. So that's the lift part. 
and there's almost like a bit of tight lining I think where you can almost get it right in and make a line right at the base of the lashes to get that denser look and then lift them but I have tried this um, I did like it actually I need to really compare it to the original which will take me some time but um, let me know if, if you've tried the telescopic lift or if you're a telescopic original user but um, yeah so that's a nice new affordable mascara now this isn't new but it's interesting and I think it's having a moment on TikTok I don't know if you can see that this is the oil control on the go from Revlon it's an oil absorbing roller interesting so basically it's like this you see this is almost like feels like a chalky ball that apparently absorbs oil so this thing here just had a little read is volcanic stone and it absorbs the oil in your skin you can take out the stone apparently yeah well there you go oh like this I'm not gonna do it now because I've broken my nail and I can't get it out but you can take that out and wash it and then dry it and then it regains its oil absorbing but let, let me just see and try right that's locked back in it feels slightly powdery but very, only very subtly right okay let me try I mean I literally have just done my makeup for this so all the oil that's there I want but like let's see so you just roll over I've got a bit of oil there what do we think can you see anything changing let me do half my forehead Do I look less oily that side? I can't tell because I am so blind. And oh yeah, I think I do actually. Like you can definitely see more oil here than there now, I think. Yeah, that works. I mean, it kind of picks up my makeup a bit, but as I said, you can wash it. So yeah, so that's it's not new, but it's new to me and it could be new to you. Let me know if you've ever come across this before. But Revlon are having a moment, I think. Those shiny lipstick, lip balm, lip gloss hybrids have sold out everywhere and they still are. I have got a blog post on those which I'll link below. They're really, really good. And I'm gonna let you know when they're back in stock. So make sure you check that out. Okay, not exactly makeup, but a brow product. And it's from BBB London, so Blink Brow Bar London. They have launched an at-home brow tint, which I used actually on a Zoom on the launch, which is quite exciting. I rocked up to this Zoom not expecting to actually do anything other than learn about the product and ended up tinting my brows. So, this is the kit I use. The shade I use is the medium brown, which is called Indian Chocolate. Quite pleased with my brows, actually. It's really, really easy to use. I've literally got nothing in them apart from the uh, brow wax from Benefit, which I'm liking. I'll link that below also. Uh, so that's a clear wax, so no color. So it gives a really nice, color you can leave it on longer I, I didn't leave, leave mine on for too long because i didn't want it to be too dark because now i've got blonder hair but really really easy to use the kit comes with everything you need so you've got like spoolies and sticks um the, the actual color comes in like little capsules so you mix that with the cream that comes in there too it's got a little mixing bowl Ev literally everything you need it's super super convenient and if you can't get into a salon to get your brows tinted, this is definitely the next best thing. Uh, there are three shades as well, so this is the middle shade. Loving that. Okay, moving on to skincare and another rose ink product. I don't know exactly how new this is, but I haven't come across it before. This is the Rose Ink Micellar Makeup Remover. Absolutely love this packaging. It's a basically a cream that you massage onto the skin and then wipe off with a cotton pad. It's a no rinse formula, so I think it's probably a really good step one of a double cleanse. So basically, you press down on the pump, out comes the product, then you massage that all over your face, wipe it away, and that's your makeup removing step done. So it's pretty cool. I haven't actually tried this yet, but I'm trying it straight after this video. And then I'm gonna write a review and let you know how it works. So I like these easy makeup removers because when it comes to cleansing, I like to get the makeup off first and then really cleanse my skin. So you could use this and then a balm cleanser and you'd be good. So I'll let you know about that. So make sure you check out that post, which I'm gonna link in the description box. It says that it dissolves makeup and pollution while delivering the benefits of a barrier protecting serum. 
So anyway, I'll have more info in my blog post for you. While we're talking about serums, one of our favourite brands, BioEffect, have launched a brand new serum. It's called the Power Serum. So I love their EGF serum. So Power Serum is like the basically souped up version of the EGF serum. EGF serum is amazing, I love it. I think all skin types can benefit from it. This one has BioFX EGF in there, which is their epidermal growth factor. There's also KGF, which is keratinocyte growth factor. The keratinocyte growth factor is a new kind of growth factor. So you've got two separate growth factors in there. There's only 12 ingredients in this whole thing. There's also NAG, which is N-acetyl glucosamine, hyaluronic acid and barley seed extract. So there's a lot going on with only 12 ingredients. So it's a really pure formula. I am desperate, desperate to try this out. I can't at the moment. I think I told you last week I'm doing a skincare trial of a new serum that I should be able to share with you soon. But as soon as I can try this, I absolutely will because I'm a mega fan of BioEffect. I'll pop a link in the description box where you can find out more about this. And you can also get this super cute case for it love. Beauty Pie have a new serum. It's their Youth Bomb Double Retinal Action Skin Overhaul Serum. Again, I've not tried it because of the trial I'm doing. Three. But I uh, love this packaging. I really like their Youth Bomb Serum, which I did feature before. So I imagine this is going to be good. Let me have a little play on the back of my hand because that's not taking part in the trial. Uh, oh, so I don't know if you can see that. Can you see... It's a kind of yellowy serum. This is an overnight serum. Well, Dr. Andrew Markey, who helped them make the original uh, Youth Bomb Serum, made this. It's supposed to be the ultimate anti-aging serum. Uh, as I said, not tried it. But if you do want to try it out or any of the Beauty Pie products, you can use my code, which I think still works. It's really resent me and you get £10 off your first order. So I'll pop details of that in the description box. But that's Beauty Pie. Lixa Skin have launched a booster for menopausal skin. This is their Night Switch Phytoestrogen and Peptide. This is designed to be mixed into their universal emulsion. So you put one pump in if you're just using it on your face, two pumps into the emulsion if you're using neck and decolletage, and then if you're including your arms, three pumps. So that's pretty cool. So that's their emulsion, which is like their moisturizer. And then let's put a pump of this in. There you go. One pump of that. And you mix that for your face. This formula has been designed to basically look after thinning skin and improve collagen and elasticity in perimenopausal and menopausal skin. So uh, that's really cool. I, I imagine you could probably um, use it in your other moisturizers as well. So that's really interesting. And it launches March the 6th for 32 pounds. The Lixa Skin product I love is their cleanser. It's an electrolyte gel cleanser, amazing. Necessaire, which is like the really cool body care brand, have launched the refill of their best selling body wash. So you can decant that into the really cool, uh, it's, it's such a cool bottle that the body wash comes in. But unfortunately I've got rid of my bottle, so that's annoying. But So I'm just gonna be using this in the shower, but it's a really nice body wash. Everybody raves about Necessaire's products. And they've also launched a body bar, the body bar. And it's an exfoliating body bar. Let me just show you this. I'm excited to use this. It says here, for your body. Very nice. They don't smell of anything, the other things, but apparently it's got gentle exfoliants in there. It says 2% physical exfoliant multi ceramide exfoliating treatment. The body bar is a weekly exfoliating treatment for the skin. Press the bar directly onto skin, use one to two times a week, or as desired, rinse well. So that's that. I think that'll really sell well. <laughs> Everybody gets very excited about Necessaire. And then lastly, I've been sent this discovery set. It's by Far Daydream, which is a fragrance brand and they have oh i've ruined this packaging by the way but they have a range of fragrances which are supposed to sort of remind you of a memory so by far daydream of a love trance of a rose garden of passing clouds of a splash of a bingo queen <laughs> of someone i knew i want to try passing clouds and then i want to try bingo queen let me see right so passing clouds going on over here it'd be easier if i didn't have so much moisturizer on my hands passing clouds 
Mm. Oh, wow, that's really nice. I mean, what do passing clouds smell like? Like this, wow, okay. It's to give you that feeling of laying beneath an open sky. Wow, that's really lovely. And then, okay, Bingo Queen. Bingo Queen says, spray for luck when stakes are high. <laughs> Cute, love it. Okay, I mean, I'm gonna try Bingo Queen on this hand. Mmm, quite earthy. Oh, or is it irisy? I don't know, because I now smell passing clouds. But I, yes, now I'm very keen to try someone I knew. By far, Daydream, they're called. This is their mini discovery collection. I'll link to where you can uh, check that out in the description box. So that's it for this week. Thank you so much for watching. Let me know if you've got any questions. There'll be loads of info in the description box, so make sure you check that out. And I shall see you next time. Thank you for watching. Bye.